hello friends from the van. Hello everyone, hope you're all doing well. So as we always did in the past when we were traveling abroad, we would bring you, if you've been following along, or even if you're new here, you might have seen us do a cost of living. Now that we're back in the van, we are really interested to know what our six months of van life in Canada is going to be like compared to our traveling abroad. So we decided to keep up our monthly reports. So we're going to continue that with van life. So we're getting you our uh, monthly costs. Our first month back was May. We did get back in April, but we're just looking at the month of May as our first full month um, living in the van. Canada's expensive. We, uh, we were expecting not great things. Where are we meant? No, so my guess is it's gonna be more expensive to live in a van in Canada than it is to um, travel abroad and live in different countries. That's my that's my guess. <laughs> we are living mainly in the van at with some of our family and we did stay with some friends. So most of our accommodations, so to speak, were quite free in the month of May. But let's just get right into it, shall we? So for the month of May, our accommodations was $357. And that was from spending four nights in provincial parks and two nights at private campgrounds. That means we spent 25 nights free camping. Pretty good deal, don't you think? <laughs> um, yeah, so like Jen mentioned, we spent the majority of the month um, you know, with family and friends living in our van and just getting our van ready for, you know, traveling around Canada this summer, so. So big savings in the accommodation department for me. Okay, our next category is for fuel, parking, and tolls. We drove a total of 3,368 kilometers in May and our total fuel costs were $608. $18.59. We run a diesel. We sure do. So Sadie is 12 years old and gets about 14 liters per 100 kilometers. Um, so not maybe the greatest, but probably not the worst. If we were traveling with a truck and a travel trailer, I think we would uh, be spending a lot more in fuel. So that was our fuel, and let me tell you, that is going to be uh, greater in months to come, you will notice, <laughs> as we do start traveling around. Well, as we're filming this video, uh, we're descending a mountain, and we had to climb that mountain to get up. Uh, my ears actually popped, so I think this month that we're in right now, we're going to be spending significant amounts more of diesel. Yes, for anyone who has not been following along or is not subscribed, we are currently driving around Newfoundland and we <laughs> plan to give you amazing videos from all over Newfoundland. And because we are spending so much of the month and we are actually moving much faster than we normally do, that's why we're bringing you this cost of living from the van because we're trying to make the best use of our time. <laughs> so next, we have our recurring bills. So what we're looking at here is we have a total of $431. That is broken down into our cell phones. I'm gonna get Mitch to tell you, May was a bit different for cell phones. Yeah, so we weren't quite sure exactly what we were gonna do coming back to Canada because when we left last fall, we canceled all of our Canadian cell phone plans or all both of our Canadian cell phone plans and we weren't quite sure what to do. So we got back and we got an eSIM for like maybe a week or so and then we found our President's Choice mobile cell phones which are um, pretty cheap. I think my plan is $34 a month and Jan's is $29 a month. Um, so uh, months to follow will be you know significantly cheaper but uh, yeah I think it was what 114 that month so we spent a little bit more in May. Yeah it was actually $143 almost. Um, our Starlink we do have the mobile Starlink. It's the which gen? 
oh god, I, th I think it's Gen Whatever. 2 and okay. it's the Starlink Rome, so we can just set it up wherever we are. Yeah, so our Starlink is not the one that is attached to the roof. We do have the Rome, but we do have to set it up and take it down when we're on the move. Um, so that monthly is $192 a month. So yes, it's a very steep internet bill. However, it is lovely. It works absolutely everywhere we have been. Um, when you're in places without cell service, it almost seems like the more remote you are, the better Starlink works. <laughs> So it has been a lifesaver for us as far as like continuing to upload these videos um, and to have service out here in Newfoundland. It's been amazing service where we barely even have cell service sometimes. Um, so we find it very necessary. And when we go to travel again in the winter, we get to pause it. So um, we are only paying when we use it. And then the last expense in there is our van insurance. Uh, so for Sadie, that's the $96. Our next category is just our living expenses. So this includes everything from groceries to personal care, entertainment, and all our miscellaneous. That total for the month of May was $1,933. And I'm gonna start giving some of the numbers. Uh, groceries were $842. Um, our eating and drinking out was $512. Our household items were about $190. Now, Mitch is the CFO of this team of Mitch and Jan. So I'm gonna turn it over to him so he can explain to us what the household items are because he makes up these categories. <laughs> yeah, so I think the household items, we bought a drying rack because we have to do laundry on the go and we like to dry our clothes outside. So we bought a nice drying rack and we bought a coffee bean grinder mm, because we yes. like to percolate our coffee in the morning and we love freshly ground coffee beans. So I think that's mainly what's in that category. We might've had some small miscellaneous things, oh, okay. but uh, that's mainly the two big things. And the coffee grinder, game changer. We love our fresh ground beans and trying to come up with the great system to still have good coffee but be reasonable with our van life and our small space and that was our solution. Um, our entertainment was zero in the month of May. We were not entertaining ourselves. Well actually Jan, just me and you living together in this van is entertaining <laughs> enough for me. Okay, that's actually fair. We were our own entertainment, I think, in May because we were just figuring all of this out. Um, so next, and personal care. Okay, that seems huge. It's $385. I will admit, guilty for using up most of that with my haircut because I had not seen my beloved hairdresser in about six months. So that's uh, probably the biggest chunk of that. Mitch got a haircut and that would just... Does it include anything else, Mitch? No, I think that's pretty much it, our haircuts. $400 in haircuts. Correct, <laughs> correct. Okay. And finally, we have just additional expenses. This month of May was $425 in additional expenses. That included $115 in van maintenance and repairs, $267 in van projects, and then our RV utilities. So again, I'm gonna hand you over to the CFO who's gonna explain what these are. Okay, Mitch, what was the $115 in van maintenance and repairs? Well, that was mainly, we had a little uh, plumbing leak, so we had to rectify that. So we needed um, a couple of fittings and stuff like that. So that's mainly what's in the okay. maintenance and repair for the van. Okay. And I happen to know that the van project, and maybe there's more in here, but we put in an outdoor shower, and I'm guessing that that is probably all the expenses for that. Yeah, that's exactly what the project was in May, um, and we're super happy with the outdoor shower because it also doubles as we need to, you know, rinse off our feet, or we like to do dishes outside because in the van is quite a small space, so we'll fill up our um, dish buckets outside using the outdoor shower, so that's quite convenient. Yes, it's actually super awesome. I think we also, I'm not sure if it's included in the project, bought like a special um, shower curtain with magnets for the doors. Anyway, it's great. 
um, that is going to be very, very handy. Okay, so RV utilities, that includes? Well, let's see. So that it was, uh, sorry, it was $44. Yeah, so not very much, but that would include filling up the propane tank for the Blackstone and also filling up the propane tank underneath the van for our um, stove and hot water. I think other things that might go in there, if we have to spend money um, for showers when we're at like a private uh, park or provincial park, or if we have to spend money for laundry, which I guess we always have to spend money unless we are at family or friends, which sometimes we do that and we um, save a couple of pennies that, that way. But uh, yeah, so mainly showers, um, propane, laundry, and if we have to, yes, exactly, empty the black tank when we're not at a private or provincial park. We sometimes have to go to places that charge to empty the black tank. Alrighty, so that is it for our van expenses. So, is that it? That's it, baby. Awesome, that doesn't seem like a lot. I know, so, so grand total. Drum roll, please. <laughs> Cost of living, May 2024, Jan and Mitch in a van. Actually, Mitch and Jan in a van. Uh, $3,772.36. So actually... That's better than I thought it was gonna come out. Um, so that's actually comparable or cheaper than most of, or some of our months abroad. Yes. Now, and we did bring this up before, for sure, the fact that our accommodations were extremely um, cheap this month because we were hanging out with mostly family and friends and paid for very little accommodation. That was a huge help. Um, so I do believe, just thinking back on our months, definitely June will be more in gas. July. Ooh, July is gonna be a lot of fuel. July is gonna hurt. We are currently in Newfoundland going up and down the hills and that's where we're getting our 14 liters per hundred kilometers. I think we normally can get around 12 or 11. Ooh. No? Yeah, maybe around 12 or yeah. 12 and a half. But like but right now we've been driving for a little over an hour and we're averaging 14.8 liters per hundred kilometers. So. But look, it's worth it. <laughs> anyway, sorry, that's our spoiler alert for Newfoundland. We were not looking forward to coming back and feeling the sticker shock. We are having a lot of fun in the van, so we might be spending a little extra in fuel and those expenses, but that's okay. We're gonna keep you guys up to date and we're gonna keep track of our expenses moving forward because my CFO here, He's on it. Yeah, we gotta stay on track. Anyway, we hope you guys like this. If you do have any questions about our expenses or anything else maybe that we mentioned here, please feel free to drop it in the comments below. If you like these videos and like knowing how much we're spending so that it's giving you an idea. Um, also, as we travel, you're gonna see the costs of what it might cost you, for example, to go to Newfoundland for three weeks like we are. Um, so please give us a thumbs up. That really helps us. And the other thing is if you do want to follow along and you like this content, please hit the subscribe button and follow us along. And until the next time, we'll see you in the van. Cheers. Cheers.